Hey y'all, um, welcome to my channel today. Yes, these are ring planners. Um, I have moved into this whole like plotter system. I have become very much obsessed <laughs> falling down this rabbit hole, but I wanted to share these with y'all because I've shown them a little bit on Instagram and um, gotten some questions and people wanted to see a video. So here we go. I will preface this with, there are several other um, YouTubers and I will link their channels uh, below in the description. Um, so y'all can watch their reviews of this brand of planners. Um, I just feel like they're a lot more well versed than I am as I've only had these for about, I don't know, I think I've had this mini five for about a week now, but I've had the Bible size for maybe two weeks. Um, so yeah, I will let y'all know. Um, anyways, so let me just jump right in. So first of all, yes, these are ring bound planners. They are very slim. The issue I've had, I love, I love ring planners. Um, I love watching people's flips of them and stuff, but the biggest issue I've always had with ring planners is that the rings are just way too big. I know a lot of people will like take inserts out and stuff, but when you have something that's a little too overstuffed, um, it's very difficult to be able to do that with like pages from the front. And I just have like a huge problem with like trying to write. <laughs> I have fairly large hands. So like just trying to write when my hand is like this high up in the air and I'm just like, it's a struggle. So these are actually, um, let me see if I can get a good view. These are, I believe 11, 11 millimeter rings, which sounds insanely tiny. Um, I don't know what most um, ring size planners are typically like, I don't know, 20 to 25. So these are very, very small rings. Um, this whole system, this whole plotter system, plotter is a Japanese brand and they recently launched in the US, I believe like a year ago. Um, and yes, so the whole system is based on just like minimalism and, and such and just, you can just tell just by the size of these little tiny baby rings. These are Krauss rings, so they're really great quality. Um, so yeah, I will just kind of do a little bit of a flip how I'm using this. Really, I take this one pretty much everywhere. I haven't been taking my Hobonichi Weeks out as much. Let me grab that real quick because I do want to show something. So my biggest struggle with the Weeks, um, I do still love it, is the monthly. The boxes are just so small. It's hard for me to just like squeeze things in. This is very messy like handwriting for me, but um, yeah, they're very small. So when I was looking at this brand, I was looking particularly at the monthly schedule, which unfortunately I think they're sold out of them, this insert right now. But in comparison, I'll show you a blank one. The boxes are just wider, which for me, I prefer them to be wider than like taller because I can just fit so much more um, in them. Like this is my December monthly where I was actually putting stuff in here because our December was just truly just insane. Um, and let me show y'all, I did migrate things into this planner. I have it a little overstuffed right now, um, which is difficult because I plan on putting a few more things in here, but we'll get to that. Um, so this is January. This is my December. So it just looks like, it just looks so much easier to read compared to the Hobonichi Weeks. So I haven't been taking this one out and about with me as much. I have been doing a lot of like, just general like type of little memory keeping in here, which I need to catch up. Um, even on my weekly layouts, it's turned more into me jotting down like highlights. I do keep up with my habit tracker over here. And then I do keep up with like a to-do list and things on the blank page side or just the grid page side. So that's just kind of what this has turned into for me. Um, but this, however, I feel like I can just be a little bit more like free and like messy and it not be a big deal. So to me, this is my messy handwriting. So this is the monthly insert. Their paper is super duper thin. I don't have the specifics on the paper but their paper is so smooth and just fountain pen friendly and I absolutely love it. Now this Bible size is technically personal 
size. Like you can put personal size inserts in here. One thing I will recommend um, though is to trim. Like, so this is a dashboard um, and I uh, just trimmed a little bit of the inside. That way it just fits in these teeny tiny rings a little bit better. Um, here is just like some cute little deco. I miss having my deco like this in my planner. This is a checklist and this insert is actually the narrow size. Um, they have a few different sizes I want to say. So mini five which is their smallest and then they also have a mini six which is um, or just their mini which is um, pocket size and then they have the narrow which is just as tall as the bible as you can tell with this insert but it's just obviously more narrow. Um, and then they have the Bible size, which is like personal, and then they have an A5 size, which is gigantic. <laughs> but I did get my inserts from Plotter. Um, this is just like a narrow size envelope, and then this is a dashboard that I got from their website. And I love these, so I'll show you one that I can actually show you what it actually is. So it's like this little folder, and it goes into your rings like such. I have one over here. Here we go. And the way you use it is for like projects type things. So I have, obviously I have this one here, which I'm working on something. And so if I have, I'm out and about and just on the go and I just wanna jot something down about that one particular thing that I'm working on. It's a big project, I will jot it down in there. And then I will close the um, envelope or um, around the insert itself. So when it's in here, it's not falling out and it can be kept private. Um, so I do really love that. I did actually see someone on YouTube, I can't remember who it was, um, just make one. You can easily make these, um, but I bought them because um, I really like the colors. So you could easily just take a sheet of paper, have it, you know, and just fold it yourself and hole punch it. But it just stays tucked into there and I, I just really like them. Um, and then, so that's what that is. That's a project that I'm working on that will be revealed later in the year. I'm very excited about it. Um, another dashboard that I trimmed down. And then this is just like random doodles, <laughs> which I really love this paper um, and just drawing just randomly in it. So that's mostly what it's turned into, just like scratch paper, like a common place for like brain dumps and stuff. Um, I do want to, however, use my Bible, or not my Bible, my mini five as like a swatch for certain things, <laughs> like um, nail polish colors for one, because I have a tendency to rebuy the same colors, but I guess it just means I know what I like. But um, just keeping lists like that and stuff in, in this, since I take this one, this is kind of my wallet right now, so I take it everywhere with me, but also I can just play with that kind of stuff. In here too these are just doodles um, Abby and I have been watching that Animal Kingdom documentary on um, Disney Plus and so I like to just do little doodles while I watch the show this is just like a random to-do list like this is essentially what this was all turned into and then Abby stamped all of my stamps in here so I can see which ones I have again to avoid buying <laughs> duplicates um, and then I did start doing a little gratitude in here um, just because I'm taking this planner with me everywhere. This is actually the one that I grab in the mornings first to jot some things down. I had to get my husband some pants, so that's what that nonsense randomness is. Um, and so, yeah, you can see it's a little bit overstuffed. <laughs> I need to take some, like, empty pages out. But as far as, like, what I'll do with pages when I'm done with them, probably just store them in a box and then decide later if I want to keep them or if I want to just toss them. Um, and, yeah, and this is just a pocket insert. I think I just got this on Amazon. It might be Filofax brand. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, but, yeah, and then this. So... They have different types of like dashboards and things like this that are like functional um, for the planner itself. So for this, for instance, this one has a huge elastic here. So I just have it tucked in the back or kind of in the back and um, as a page lifter. And then the elastic just goes around, which I absolutely love. You can obviously get it without this, but I just kind of wanted to make sure this thing was, getting, you know, able to stay shut. Um, I do like that it doesn't, the design of the planner itself is very minimal. It doesn't have like a clasp or anything. So when I'm writing, um, I don't have something that's kind of like, you know, 
Here, I'll show you an example. I got a Filofax Mini too. And like, you see how this one has this clasp here and that just kind of like raises the planner up a little bit in that area, I feel like. I mean, not all planners do that, but I do just love this like minimal design. I think, um, I can't remember who it was. I'm gonna link all these videos down below, but I did remember someone um, comparing this to like a ring version of like a traveler's notebook so if you really like the traveler's notebook kind of like style and feel i believe um this brand is actually owned by the parent company that owns traveler's notebooks as well so i feel like there's a lot of similarities and such and the this one is the pueblo the leather so the um hardware is gold for this one i believe the hardware is different um, color oh excuse me for all the different ones um, but I really like this leather it's kind of like their mid-grade I guess um, it when I first got it it actually feels it feels a lot similar to like a traveler's notebook and obviously over time it's going to um, patina and such just from the oils in my hands and things like that I actually did um, oil this side or use a leather I don't know what stuff it's called I don't even know where it's at <laughs> but um because it almost has like so this side I this one has not been like messed with or whatever but you can kind of see when I first got it it had a lot of like white streaks and things in there and I wasn't particularly into that so I did get some something off Amazon and um, I did like a little test spot to make sure it wasn't gonna like truly mess up the leather. But I really like how it is just going to like change over time with me and such. Like there's already a dent in there and I just love it. I love that kind of stuff. So um, yes, my favorite thing though about this planner is that it lays perfectly flat. You'll see that, that is just, <laughs> that is a luxury in all of its own. And um, because I was showing, so I'm gonna just, I didn't take this off. I did get a mini five Filofax because this was on sale at Atlas for like $30, $33 or something. And so I was like, well, you know, these are, I believe, 15 millimeter rings. So I was like, if I'm using this and I just want something a little bit bigger, has more like pockets and things like that, I will have this. And it was only 30 bucks. So not a bad deal. And it does come with these like inserts already in it. Um, but here's... Well, maybe I was struggling with this a little bit more yesterday when I was, it just doesn't lay flat. Like you can probably bend it and work with it and stuff to make it just, I just love when it just lays perfectly flat. Um, call me super picky, but I know what I like. Um, so yeah, let me show y'all. So that's my Bible size and I did get an order in. Um, this is one of my favorite things about their inserts. They are not, um, like loose leaf pages, which is great. You could even, if you just wanted to try out the paper, like I would literally just buy these as like notebooks. So these are actually bound. And so the way that you would do it is when you wanted to get a sheet, you can just rip it out and it'll come out perfectly. But like I said, you could use this as a notebook too. I've seen people just use them as a notebook or they'll write in this and then they'll put them in the planner. Um, but I really love that because it helps just keep everything together and then you don't have to like keep it stored in a cellophane and I just, I just thought it was such a thoughtful <laughs> part of the design. Um, the ones that don't come that way are like the monthly schedule. So I don't know what led me to this. I think I just wanted to see how teeny tiny, look at how like this baby size, how, what do you even include in there? I need to go find, like scour the internet and find people who've used the the um mini five monthly schedule because how do you even write in this thing it's just so cute I think I am going to actually just use it for color coding um my husband's vacations and um things like that I can use the memo space to jot one thing maybe <laughs> but it's so cute this one doesn't come bound which is fine um I'm just gonna stick the whole thing in here so I'll show you with that I'll just kind of show you all my mini five which yes this is a super like when i first got this i was just so blown away by how teeny tiny this thing is um it's so cute i think this is called their bridal leather but they only had a couple of the um the blue 
color left and I, that's the one I really wanted. So I went ahead and ordered this one. Um, I had already been in my Bible for about a week and really loved it. Love the system, love this paper. Oh my God. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. So I, yes, like I said, I'm using this as a wallet. Um, now that I got a couple more inserts and things, I will be using it a little bit more um, or just fleshing it out for real. This is the to-do list insert, which I just jotted down some things I need to remember to get from the grocery store. And you see like the lines are very like wide. So like I was using, I was able to like put like two items in one little row, which is great. Um, and then I also have the two millimeter grid paper, which I have figured out that is not, is not for me. <laughs> I cannot write straight on this. Um, the grid just does not exist <laughs> when I'm writing. Um, but I still love it. Like I'm still gonna use the paper for like doodles and stuff like that, um, which is why I got the, um, this is the six millimeter ruled paper, which is a little bit, I don't know, wide for me, but I'm gonna use this in my Bible size planner. Um, they have a leather card holder and I was very skeptical because I was like, no way I can actually fit like a debit card or credit card or literally anything in there. But my driver's license and my debit card both fit very snugly. I love the thoughtfulness of this design. The um, flap opens towards the inside of the ring so you don't have to worry about your stuff falling out. Um, so yeah, I love that. I will probably pick up another one just so I can put like my insurance card, my FSA card in here. Um, I might just go ahead and pick up two more, but anyways, and I also have the page lifter in the back with the elastic so I can keep everything closed and nice and secure. This one, this leather has silver hardware, which I love. Um, but yeah, and it also just lays flat. I just, it's just amazing. One thing I will recommend getting though, because this leather is so like, um, minimal and you saw it was like able to put a dent in this thing. So I feel like the ring protector is like a must, <laughs> um, just to avoid getting those ring indentations on your cover and seeing them from the outside, which I mean, it's not like a make or break thing for me, but I did love that they had this option and this is a leather ring protector and you can see all the indent and <laughs> it's going into that instead. Um, so yeah, I think I feel like I'd covered a lot of stuff. I did get, which this is one thing I wanted to show because I don't think, I wasn't able to find it anywhere um, on the internet, but using the pen holder with the page lifter, I love, first of all, I love this like design that's on here. Um, but I was really skeptical about how like skinny of a pen can I actually fit into this pen loop. So I have a couple pens, um, because I'm currently on the hunt for a, I'm very specific about this. Like I said, I'm very picky because I know what I like. I wanted to find a clicky pen, gel pen, that did not have a rubber grip because I knew I wanted to get a pen loop holder for this, for my Bible size, possibly get one for my mini five, but I don't know what pen I'll be able to fit. These are all way too big. Um, but I wanted to see what pens I could actually fit into this pen holder because like I said, you can, they have their own brand of pens and stuff which you can purchase, but I was like, no, it wasn't really my thing. So this one, this is the uni, is it the uni ball? I think it's the uni ball, um, which that one is kind of a bit of a struggle. So I feel like the Muji is also going to give me issues, which I will admit this, I just learned that Muji pens come in like a, a clicky version. That's not too bad. I didn't want something that was gonna like get jammed and stuck in there. Like I would just be struggling. This is the Sakura, Sakura ball sign in 0.4. So this might actually be the one that I end up using in here. I have a couple others because like I said, I'm going on this whole like pen journey right now. So if you have any recommendations, let me see, of um, clicky pens that don't have a rubber grip, then let me know in the comments below because I am on the hunt. Um, right Tech was also another brand that was recommended. Um, I don't have their 
black gel pens because I do want a black gel pen. But I do have these like uh, the dual color gel pens. That one fits pretty well. So I just kind of wanted to see what all kind of pens would fit into this thing. Let's try a mild liner. I feel like that's going to be because you could get like, I mean, yeah, probably just fit one pen. Nope, that fits pretty good. So anyways, yeah, I wanted to share that because I don't think I've been able to um, find it online, like someone actually using a non, I guess, plotter pen in there. But anyways, that is pretty much all I have. I did get, like I said, I got the Filofax. Because um, if you're curious, these are very pricey notebooks. <laughs> really, the only way I was able to justify it was because I have not bought like a luxury planner and I, I do consider this like a luxury brand line just based off of how much these planners are and I feel like they're just going to stand the test of time <laughs> and like I don't know I just absolutely love it it's just it reminds me of like the traveler's notebooks just holding it I do love it um but what I was saying because I had some people ask like is it worth it to just save up for the plotter or should I just get a Filofax if I want to try a new size I definitely recommend if you can find a deal like this just to make sure that you're going to like the size then trying out something like that but also you know you can go on the plotter website and you can pick up just the insert itself and just kind of hold on to that because like I said these are like bound books which is great like you could just take this around like a notebook um, and use it like that to get used to, I guess, the size to make sure you like it. Um, but another good option is obviously going with like something like a Filofax. Now, the one thing that drives me nuts is these rings rattle. These are Krauss rings that they use in these plotter notebooks, which adds to that price point. I want to say, I can't remember specifically. I think this one was about 168 and this one I think was like 90 one I can't remember um but they have different um leather options too so but definitely I guess just trying out a different size and stuff and I also picked up these inserts oh for a second I was like oh no are these not hole punch because I don't have a mini five hole punch I have heard you can use the um just like a pocket size hole punch the I can't remember what they're called but um just a hole punch five but these holes are just so super duper tiny i did pick up some filofax inserts from atlas um because i can't find many five inserts in the u.s i can purchase them on amazon japan but um the shipping is kind of crazy but i'm probably going to just go ahead and do that anyways because just the quality of the materials Japanese stationery, are you kidding me? Like, there's hardly any competition. <laughs> um, but yeah, those fit in there fine. They're actually a little bit wider than the plotter inserts, which wouldn't doesn't really bother me, but that does stand out. <laughs> it's something to take note of. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah. And if you put those closer to the middle, then they're going to stick out even farther. This one here is sticking out, so this is like a foldover insert from Plotter, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, don't know exactly how I'll use it. I'm just gonna be using this for like doodles and stuff like. And then I got some of the like color paper because I do like just to have random sheets of different color paper in there. So it comes with the pink, the green, and blue. And like, I'm gonna lose these if I don't put them in here immediately. Whereas this, this is just such I just think that's just so cool that they did that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think that's everything. Let me know if y'all have any questions, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.